for me, what initially drew me, I, I, I was really there for the stories, for the struggle. I'm always attracted to struggle. I don't know what that says about me, but I like that, you know, like feeling like these are real people dealing with real issues, whether it be fertility or divorce or career versus work or family balance. You know, these, these kinds of, the relationships were just like so full and well-written. That's what attracted me to it. I think the fact of having to be able to play the same person, but in three different lives, you know, and to see those roads not taken kind of pan out. I think that was really interesting. And it was just kind of meaty. I mean, for any actor, I feel like it's so exciting to be able to have, you know, kind of the same person, but not the same in a lot of ways, <laughs> you know, in three kind of storylines. And I thought it was going to be a lot of fun and everyone involved in it, I thought was amazing. And I was a fan of, so I thought it was a really good opportunity. I think the only thing sometimes is that it's really common, I think, amongst all of us uh, is always trying to figure out, you know, we'll be on set and I'll be like, wait, when was the last time we saw each other? And I have to remember, like, you're not my husband on this or you are my husband on this or wait a minute, like, are we kissing? Are we, do we get along right now? We don't get along right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's, it's kind of really funny, like some worlds you got to really um, to kind of track it to make sure that you're telling that proper story because you can't, you know, and there's little differences, like little different nuances you have. At least I like to have with, with my characters where, you know, one maybe will be a lot more confident and more um, just successful in everything she does and a lot of a stronger character and another character I'm a little bit less, um, less confident, you know, and still trying to figure out my way and figure out who I am. So there's like little things you kind of see within in each character that are, are different, but I def definitely keeping track of the worlds is sometimes a little challenging, but luckily we have, you know, great writers and everybody that's around is always willing to like help out. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I could try to make a case. <laughs> But I feel like that would be a disservice to the to the story because like inside of this show, it's like no choice is correct. And that's the thing that we have to realize like as mankind that, you know, we're going to make all these choices that are going to define our lives. And you could have had one great love over here and you probably could have had another great love over here. Um, so I think that, you know, Jenny is for him in, in their time and that Amy is for him in another time. And uh, they're, they're, so, they're so different. They're such different relationships. What do you, what do you think, Natalie? <laughs> I think that there's something in every relationship. Like there is something when I watch it and when I read it, like there, when you're watching that life, you're hoping for that life to be good. And you're hoping for them to overcome whatever troubles they're having, or you're hoping for them to get together or make up or just be happy, you know? And I think within each life, you know, as you said, there's no wrong decision. So it's kind of hard to, to plead a case to be like, I'm better for Joe or she's better for Joe. Because <laughs> I think at the end of the day, we're all good for each other. It's just, you know, we're no all matter how, how we deal with things and handle things. Yeah. Ooh. Um, oh, you go. Yeah, I mean, my... You know, I grew up always wanting to be a midwife and I, I volunteered in hospitals and I worked in the maternity ward and I've read books and I follow accounts and I've seen births and stuff. That's something that's always, I've had very strong connection to all my life and I've been called to a lot. So it's definitely something where I'm sure I'd be a midwife somewhere <laughs> doing, you know, supporting women and, and birthing and, and doing that. That's definitely something that's always interested me. Um, that and I guess you know that's something that that's always kind of stuck with me um I have a leaf blower outside of my, my window can you guys hear it yeah I you know I was just reminded that when I graduated school I didn't assume that acting would work out for me and I had all these backup plans to just travel the world and I think that I probably live somewhere else and you know I would have like taught English for a year or gone to grad school or you know studied like voice work and become like a teacher I, I don't know I think I would 
I would have been more of like a Renaissance lady. Mm -hmm. Uh, mine was going into the entertainment. My uh, my mother, I was working as a, I was working at the hospital, and I would do on the weekends. Uh, my mother owned a salon, and I was doing hair with her. And she heard, you know, this model search on the radio, and she wanted me to go do this model search. And I'm like, I don't want to be a model. Like I just had my life, and it's kind of the same as Elizabeth, where like I wanted to travel and I wanted to be a doula and a midwife and just like live this kind of hippie lifestyle. And not acting was never in my cards. And then I ended up going, you know, to the modeling, uh, the modeling contest and winning. And that just catapulted my life in a whole other direction. And I really didn't think I was going to win. In fact, I thought Puerto Rico was going to win this entire time. And we're still friends to this day. <laughs> so I think that choice, honestly, I don't know how I would have gotten into this business if it wasn't for that one particular choice. I didn't have years around me it wasn't something that I thought was tangible in my life or where I grew up um so I really don't know how I would even try to be an actress or, or any of that kind of stuff if it wasn't for that specific choice I love that story <laughs> I am um, for me it's like a very small choice <laughs> it wasn't like one of these big choices it's I they sent out to my drama school like a uh, a casting for this tv show and you know anyone from the world could like send in their tape and you look at that and you think oh like the odds of me even being considered this are like very slim this is you know kind of like natalie in this contest like you feel like the odds are probably against you and i remember i was so tired i was working so hard in drama school and i almost did not put that tape in I almost just like, was like, oh no, it's too much trouble. But when I taped for that, I ended up getting like a call back and I did my first test and I went to California for the first time and I got my agent and I can just see like the ripple effect that one little audition uh, did for me that I almost just like tossed aside. And it, it, I think of that all the time now because I'm, I'm always like, you never know like what's going to pay off. So just like work hard, do everything and do your best. 